Welcome! Today we will review the days of the week. We will also review the months of the year. Next, we will talk about seasons and prepositions of time. Finally, we will learn some new vocabulary and discuss holidays. So let's begin with the days of the week. Here are some examples. Easter is always on Sunday. So let's look at that example. Easter is always on Sunday, everywhere in the world. Next example. Next Wednesday is Christmas. Everyone knows Christmas. Next Wednesday is Christmas. Father's Day is on Sunday. Okay, Father's Day is on Sunday. I think Valentine's Day is next Tuesday. Okay, so all the men must bring roses. I think Valentine's Day is next Tuesday. All right, let's discuss the days of the week now, now that we have some examples. First, we have the weekdays. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. These are all called weekdays. So let's repeat. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, the weekdays, when most of us are working. We also have some fun days for most people. These days are called the weekend, Saturday and Sunday is the weekend. All right, now let's practice the days of the week. Anna, what is your favorite day? My favorite day is Sunday. That's Easter. Easter is my favorite holiday. Thank you. Sylvia, what is your favorite holiday? My favorite holiday is Independence Day. That is this Thursday. Wonderful. Alberto, what day is your birthday on? It's on Tuesday. I want to have a big party this year. That sounds great. I hope you invite me. Anna, what day is tomorrow? Tomorrow is Tuesday. There is a big festival in Barcelona tomorrow. Great. Good job. Sylvia, what day was yesterday? Yesterday was Sunday. It was my uncle's birthday. Very good. Alberto, what day is today? That's simple. Today is Monday. Good job. Thank you very much, everyone. Now it's time to look and listen. Look and listen. Cindy's birthday is on Thursday. The policeman doesn't have to work at the festival on Friday. Valentine's Day is this Monday. I usually start my holiday shopping on Saturday. Read and repeat. Months of the year. Now let's learn something new. 
Pay attention to these examples. Christmas is the day after tomorrow. Christmas is the day after tomorrow. St. Patrick's Day was the day before yesterday. St. Patrick's Day was the day before yesterday. So the day after tomorrow means two days from today into the future. That's why we know Christmas is the day after tomorrow, two days into the future. Okay, if today is Wednesday, the day after tomorrow is Friday. So now we understand the day before yesterday. If today is Wednesday, the day before yesterday was Monday. All right, now let's practice with our April calendar. We're using today as the 11th of April. Alberto, what is the day after tomorrow? The day after tomorrow is Saturday. It's my father's birthday. All right, very good. Happy birthday to your father. Now, today is Easter, April 11th. So, Anna, what, is, what was the day before yesterday? Easter is always on a Sunday. The day before yesterday was Friday. Very good. Sylvia, what are you going to do the day after tomorrow? I'm going to buy a present. It is my boyfriend's birthday. Very good. All right. Thank you, everyone. Now we are going to review the months of the year. Okay. America's Independence Day is in July. America's Independence Day is in July. Mother's Day is in May in the U.S. Mother's Day is in May in the U.S. The big festival is in June. The big festival is in June. My birthday is in October. My birthday is in October. All right, now there are 12 months in a year. So let's review the 12 months. We start the year, of course, with New Year's, and that's January. After we have the month of February. Next comes springtime with March. April follows. Then May. Summertime arrives with June. Then July. August. Then we have September. And the fall season begins. Next is October, November, finally, December, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, the 12 months of the year. Most of the months have 31 days. These months are January, March, May, July, August, October, and December. Some months have 30 days. These months are April, June, September, November. The month of February has 28 days. 
every four years it has 29 days. That year is called leap year. Okay, let's review the months. Sylvia, in what month is your birthday? My birthday is in May. My mother's birthday is in May too. Okay, very good. Thank you, Anna. What is your favorite month? My favorite month is July. There is a big festival in Spain. Thank you, Anna. Alberto, what is your favorite month? My favorite month is December. That's Christmas time. Okay, great. Very good. Now it's time to look and listen. Look and listen. The ice skating festival is in December. Their wedding anniversary is in March. Halloween is in October. There are many holidays in February in the United States. Read and repeat. Seasons. Now let's review the seasons. Take a look at these examples. His birthday is in the spring. His birthday is in the spring. Next example. I love winter festivals in my country. I love winter festivals in my country. Columbus Day is in the fall in the United States. Columbus Day is in the fall in the United States. Okay, one other example. The Tulip Festival is in the spring in Holland. Okay, the Tulip Festival is in the spring in Holland. Okay, now that we have some examples of interesting things to do in these seasons, let's discuss the seasons. Okay, there are four seasons. These are summer, fall, winter, and spring. So the four seasons are summer, fall, winter, and spring. Okay, fall is special. It can also be called autumn. Two names. So fall is also called autumn. Okay, the summer months are June, July, and August. So the summer months are June, July, and August. The fall months are September, October, and November. Fall or autumn months are September, October, and November. Okay, the winter months are December, January and February. The winter months are December, 
January and February. So that leaves a lovely springtime. Spring months are March, April, and May. Beautiful flowers. The spring months are March, April, and May. All right, now let's practice. Anna, what is your favorite season? My favorite season is the summer. The San Farman Festival is in the summer. All right, very good. Alberto, what is your favorite season? My favorite season is the winter. I love to ski. I love to walk in the snow. I love Christmas. I love winter. <laughs> okay, very good. Sylvia, what is your favorite season? My favorite season is the spring. My birthday is in the spring. The flowers are beautiful. The birds always sing. Okay, I agree with you. Very good, everyone. Now it's the season for Look and Listen. Look and Listen. Father's Day is in the summer. There are many festivals in France in the spring. Kathy and Fred's anniversary is in the fall. There are many beach parties in the summer. Read and repeat. Prepositions of time. Now let's review days, months, and seasons. Anna, when is a good time to visit Barcelona? A good time is in the summer. The beaches are beautiful. There are many parties. There are many festivals. Oh, great. Sounds like fun. Alberto, when is a good time to visit Italy? December is a wonderful month in Italy. Christmas in December. Christmas is very important in Italy. Yes, Christmas is in December. Very good. Sylvia, when is a good time to visit Bosnia? I'm going to Sarajevo on Sunday. They are having a ski festival in Sarajevo. I think winter is the best time to visit Bosnia. All right, great. Thank you, everyone. Now let's quickly review prepositions of time. Here are some examples. The festival will start at midnight. The festival will start at midnight. Preposition of time, at. We will leave for the party at lunchtime. We will leave for the party at lunchtime. At lunchtime. The 4th of July celebration will start at 8 o'clock. The 4th of July celebration will start at 8 o'clock. At 8. Final example. We always have a good time at Christmas. We always have a good time at Christmas. So we use the preposition at for the time of day and also for these expressions. Okay, we're still working with the preposition at. Okay, so we use at for the time of day and these expressions at night, at the weekend, at Easter. 
All right, let's talk about holidays. Sylvia, what kinds of food do you usually eat at Christmas time? We eat sausages and potatoes with a glass of beer. Oh, wonderful. Alberto, what do you usually do at night before Christmas? You go to bed early. You don't want Santa to be late. No, that wouldn't be good. Anna, when do you usually celebrate your birthday? I usually celebrate it at night. My family likes to go to our favorite restaurant. Good. Thank you, everyone. Now, at this time, it's time to look and listen. Look and listen. Kevin went to the festival at 2.30. We will leave for the anniversary party at noon. At Easter, we always paint eggs. The gala will be at the weekend. Read and repeat. Now let's review the preposition on. Okay, here are some examples. The anniversary party will be on Friday. All right, the anniversary party will be on Friday. On Friday. Next example. Christmas is always on December 25th. Christmas is always on December 25th. On December 25th. Easter is always on a Sunday in the spring. Easter is always on a Sunday in the spring. One final example. I will have a big party on my birthday. I will have a big party on my birthday. Okay, so we use the preposition on for days and dates. Okay, let's look at some more expressions. Okay, we can say on Thursday, on March 12th, on Christmas Day, or on my birthday. Okay, so on is used for days and dates. For example, on Thursday, on March 12th, on Christmas Day, or on my birthday. Okay, now let's practice using the preposition on. Sylvia, when is your birthday? My birthday is on the 18th of May. It's in the spring. I love spring. Oh, I like spring too. Anna, when do you celebrate Christmas? On the 24th? or the 25th of December? We celebrate it on Christmas Day. That's the 25th of December. Very good. Alberto, when do you usually go to the arts festivals? I usually go on Fridays. They are very crowded on weekends. All right, good. Very good, everyone. Now, on this day, we are going to look and listen. Look and listen. Their anniversary party will be on Sunday. 
The festival first started on October 1st, 1988. On Christmas Day, we are always excited. Joyce wants a surprise party on her birthday. Read and repeat. Let's review the last preposition of time, in. Here are some examples. They will leave for Oktoberfest in September. In September. The ice festival is always in the winter. In the winter. His birthday parties at the hotel began in 1999. Finally, Christmas was first celebrated in the Middle Ages. Okay, let's review. They will leave for Oktoberfest in September. The ice festival is always in the winter. His birthday parties at the hotel began in 1999. Christmas was first celebrated in the Middle Ages. Okay, so we use the preposition in for longer periods of time. Okay, for example, we use in for months seasons and years. Okay, so we use the preposition in for months, seasons, and years. Okay, more examples of expressions. In October, in the winter, in 1768 in the 1980s, in the 17th century, in the Middle Ages, in the past, and in the future. So let's review these expressions using the preposition in. In October, in the winter, in 1768, in the 1980s, in the 17th century, in the Middle Ages, in the past, and in the future. Okay, now let's review this last preposition of time, in. Sylvia, are you going home for Christmas? Not this year. Maybe I will go in the future. I don't have enough money for a ticket. Oh, that's too bad. I'm sorry, Sylvia. Anna, when were you born? I was born in 1980. My parents had a party for me when they brought me home. I'm sure you made them very happy. Alberto, <laughs> you will love this question. When did Christmas first start in Italy? I don't know exactly. Maybe in the first century or maybe in the second century. Very good. Thank you, everyone. Now it's time to look and listen. Look and listen. The festival will be in February. Their anniversary is in the spring. The festival first began in 1657. 
I used to have birthday parties for my daughter in the 1970s. Read and repeat. Holidays. Now let's review the three prepositions of time: in, at, and on. Sylvia, when is your mother's birthday? It's on May second. That's in the spring. We always have a party for her in the park. Great. Anna, when is your mother's favorite season? I'm not sure. I think it's the summer. There are many cross festivals in the summer. Great, Alberto. When was your sister born? She was born on Christmas Day in 1992. She was born at 7 a.m. She was a wonderful present for our family. Yes, I'm sure she was. Thank you. Now let's look at three important holidays. The first holiday we will look at is Halloween. Halloween is celebrated on October 31st. Halloween is celebrated on October 31st. It is an important holiday for children and adults. Before we talk about Halloween, let's learn some important vocabulary. Please look at the monitor. Children like to wear costumes for Halloween. They can be a devil or cowboy, or maybe a ghost or a monster. They like to put masks on their faces. They carve pumpkins and put them in front of their homes. Some of the pumpkins have funny faces. Some of the pumpkins have scary faces. Some people put candles inside the pumpkins. Children like to go trick or treating. Most people give them candy or fruit. Some people don't give the children anything. Sometimes the children rub soap on these people's windows. So children aren't the only ones who enjoy Halloween. Adults can also enjoy Halloween. Please look at the monitor. Adults like to go to costume parties. They have contests to see who has the best costume. So now that we know all that we need to know about Halloween, let's practice. Sylvia, where do they celebrate Halloween? They celebrate Halloween in the United States. That's correct. Is it only for children? No, I think it's good for adults too. Very good, Alberto. For a Halloween party, what costume can you wear? I can be witch or I can be a lion. A witch or a lion? Wow, I'm sure you would be a very good lion. Anna, do they have pumpkins in Spain? Of course we do. My father has them in his garden. I can carve many pumpkins for Halloween. Okay, very good. Sylvia, if I come to your house trick or treating, will you give me some candy? Of course. <laughs> good job, everyone. Now it's time for a real treat. Look and listen. Look and listen. My brother is always a pirate on Halloween. The Halloween party is at the restaurant. There were three pumpkins in front of the house. The bad witch is flying around the house. Read and repeat. 
Now let's look at Christmas. Christmas is on the 25th of December. Okay, so Christmas is on the 25th of December, as our friend Alberto knows very well. It is celebrated in many countries in the world. Now we need to find out more information about Christmas, so please look at your monitor. Families like to cut down a Christmas tree for their home. They like to decorate the tree with bulbs, lights, and tinsel. Children like to hang stockings for Santa Claus. On Christmas morning, there are many presents under the tree. Many families go to church on Christmas Day. People sing Christmas songs or carols. Families always have a wonderful meal on Christmas Day. All right, let's talk some more about this wonderful holiday, Christmas. I think all three of you love Christmas, especially Alberto. I love it. I love to shop for presents. I love to get presents. There is always a lot of love in our house on Christmas Day. Yes, I feel the love in your house on Christmas Day. <laughs> Very good. What about you, Sylvia? I like Christmas too. I enjoy our trip to the forest to get a tree. I also enjoy decorating it. My mother made lots of Christmas decorations. That's great. And Anna, do you also enjoy Christmas? Sure. Christmas is the most important holiday in Spain. I love the presents and food. I also love to sing Christmas carols. The only bad thing is there isn't any snow in Barcelona. Oh, that's too bad. Thank you, everyone. Now, your present is to look and listen. Look and listen. <laughs> The Christmas tree was very tall. We went to the church for midnight mass. There were many small presents in the children's stockings. Olivia got a new doll for Christmas. Read and repeat. <laughs> Another holiday which is celebrated in some countries is Thanksgiving. It is usually celebrated in the fall. Now, we're going to listen to some additional information about Thanksgiving, so please look at the monitor. Mothers cook a nice turkey or ham for Thanksgiving. Fathers carve the turkey into small pieces. The turkey is filled with stuffing, which is breadcrumbs and spices. For dessert, there is mincemeat, apple, and pumpkin pie. Before the meal begins, everyone gives thanks for their good health and for sharing the meal with friends and family. So now that we have some additional information about Thanksgiving, let's discuss this wonderful holiday. Anna. Do they have Thanksgiving in Spain? No, they don't. I want Spain to have it. The food looks delicious. Thank you, Anna. Sylvia, what do you know about Thanksgiving? I have an American friend. I had Thanksgiving dinner with his family. 
There was a lot of happiness there, but I didn't understand American football. Yes, it's a difficult sport to understand. Alberto, do you like the Thanksgiving desserts? I think so, but my mother doesn't make pies. I don't know if I like mismet or not. Well, I like it very much. Thank you, everyone. Now, let's give thanks for Look and Listen. Look and Listen. They went to their grandparents' house for Thanksgiving. Apple pie is my favorite dessert on Thanksgiving. Everett's mom is always angry when his father watches too much football on Thanksgiving. We had a small turkey this Thanksgiving. Read and repeat. Review. Now we're ready for some more practice. Anna, what do you want for Christmas this year? I want a new ring. I hope Santa puts it in my stocking. Sylvia, can you be a king on Halloween? I don't think so. I want to be a cat. I want to find a nice mouse. <laughs> Okay, good. Alberto, can your mother cook a Thanksgiving turkey? I'm sure she can. She's a great cook. Thank you, assistants. You are wonderful. Now let's try some exercises using months and days of the week. So I will write some examples for you to fill in. The first one, the two weekend days are mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. Anna, this one's for you. The two weekend days are Saturday and Sunday. The two weekend days are Saturday and Sunday. Great, Sylvia. Today is Friday. The day before Yesterday was, mm -hmm. Sylvia, the day before yesterday was Wednesday. The day before yesterday was Wednesday, if today is Friday. Okay, Alberto, this one's for you. It's a long one. The months that have 30 days are mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the months that have 30 days are September, All right. April, mm -hmm. June, and November. Very good. So the months that have 30 days are September, April, June, and November. Good job, you've all been paying very good attention. Let's do an exercise using the seasons of the year. Okay, Anna will start. But her example won't be quite as difficult as Alberto's. Okay, Anna, the three Fall months are which ones? The three fall months are September, mm -hmm. October, and November. Very good. So the three fall months are September, October, and November. 
Okay, Alberto, now you finally have an easy one. The three summer months are mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and what? That's easy. The three summer months are June, July, and August. Very good, Alberto. All right, so the three summer months are June, July, and August. Now, Sylvia, last but certainly not least, your example about seasons. The three spring months are mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and what? The three spring months are March, April, and May. Very good, Sylvia. Okay, the three spring months are March, April, and May. Okay, good job. Now let's do a short exercise with prepositions of time. Fill in the blanks again with the correct answers. Okay, the anniversary party will start mm -hmm, 8 o'clock. Okay, Sylvia. The anniversary party will start at 8 o'clock. Very good. The anniversary party will start at 8 o'clock. Okay, Alberto. We will leave for the birthday party, mm -hmm. one hour. We will leave for the birthday party in one hour. Very good. We will leave for the birthday party in one hour. Very good. Okay, Anna. This one's for you. Christmas mass will be Mm -hmm. 8 o'clock. Christmas Mass will be at 8 o'clock. Yes. Christmas Mass will be at 8 o'clock. Great job, everyone. Thank you. Now, here is an exercise using our new vocabulary. Let's fill in the blanks again. Okay. You're going to use a new vocabulary word. Nancy's mother mm -hmm, for orange mm -hmm, for Halloween. Let's see who's the smart one today. Alberto, can you do this one? Nancy's mother carved four orange pumpkins for Halloween. Very good. Nancy's mother carved four orange pumpkins for Halloween. Okay, Sylvia, you're just as smart as Alberto. My mother made four mm -hmm, pies for Thanksgiving. My mother made four mincemeat pies for Thanksgiving. Very good. My mother made four mincemeat pies for Thanksgiving. Okay, the last one is for you, Anna. The children love to mm -hmm, the Christmas tree with beautiful. Mm -hmm. Can you do that one, Anna? The children love to decorate the Christmas tree with beautiful decorations. Very good. Okay, the children love to decorate the Christmas tree with beautiful decorations. Thank you very much. You're all so very smart. Now it's time to listen and write. Listen and write. Now listen and write these sentences. Her birthday 
is on Monday. The festival will start at 7 o'clock. Their anniversary is in November. Paula wants a new motorcycle for Christmas. The spring festival opens at noon. John will bring the Christmas tree. Joe's mother bought three pumpkin pies for Thanksgiving dinner. Our Christmas tree was too short. There was ten dollars in Molly's stocking. Kelly's favorite Christmas song is the first Noel. Now check your work. Her birthday is on Monday. The festival will start at 7 o'clock. Their anniversary is in November. Paula wants a new motorcycle for Christmas. The spring festival opens at noon. John will bring the Christmas tree. Joe's mother bought three pumpkins for Thanksgiving dinner. Our Christmas tree was too short. There was ten dollars in Molly's stocking. Kelly's favorite Christmas song is The First Noel. Now, read the story and answer the questions about it. Read and answer. Mary and Jim are married. They live in London. They are architects. They were married on March 5th, 2000. They don't have any children. They may have a child in the future. Now they like going to parties and festivals. Mary and Jim have two parties every year. They have one on Christmas Eve. It usually starts at 3 p.m. Lots of friends and relatives always come to have a drink. Most people bring a small gift for Mary and Jim. Last year, Mary got a new pair of winter gloves from her best friend. They also have a party on Halloween. This party starts at 10 p.m. Everyone wears a costume. Last year, Jim was a football player and Mary was a cheerleader. There is always a contest for the best costume. Last year, a woman in a butterfly costume won. There was a big surprise for everyone after last year's party. Some naughty teenagers had soaked all the car windows. Now here are some questions about the story. Where do Mary and Jim live? What are their jobs? Do they have children? What do they like to do? How many parties do Mary and Jim have each year? What time does their Christmas Eve party start? What did Mary get last year? What time does the Halloween party start? What kind of costume did Mary wear last year? What was the big surprise after last year's party? 
Now check your answers. Where do Mary and Jim live? Mary and Jim live in London. What are their jobs? They are architects. Do they have children? No, they don't. What do they like to do? They like to go to parties and festivals. How many parties do Mary and Jim have each year? Mary and Jim have two parties. What time does their Christmas Eve party start? It starts at 3 p.m. What did Mary get last year? She got a new pair of gloves. What time does the Halloween party start? The Halloween party starts at 10 o'clock. What kind of costume did Mary wear last year? Mary wore a cheerleader costume last year. What was the big surprise after last year's party? Naughty teenagers put soap on everyone's car windows. Very good lesson. See you next time. Bye-bye. Practicing English. Look at that lady walking that pretty dog. He is gorgeous. He's almost dragging her along with him. He's still very young. He has not finished growing yet. In my opinion, I think that it will grow to be a large dog. Yes, probably he is not even a year old yet. He's such a pretty brown color. His fur is very shiny, and he looks very clean. Yes, but he is heading right towards that pool. I think he is chasing those blackbirds. You're right. There he goes, right into the pool. They're both going to be soaked. See, I love taking time out in the park. You can do almost anything here. Yes. Now look at this man coming our way. Ooh. His running jacket is plaid, and he's wearing a straw hat with long brown shoes. He is certainly very colorful. Now, I see something I want you to take notice of. What's that? Those two boys over there. Where? One boy has light brown hair and the other one has black hair. Those boys over there? Yes, one boy is wearing a black shirt and the other is wearing a white shirt. Hmm, what about them? <laughs> I think they are looking at you and me. They keep smiling at us. Ooh, you're right. They are looking at us. <laughs> I like the light brown-haired one. He is taller than the other boy. I like the black-haired one. He's shorter, but he has a nicer smile than the other boy. Look, they are leaving. I guess they weren't interested in us after all. Don't worry, cousin. Istanbul is full of handsome men. Let's go do some shopping and see if we can meet anyone interesting along the way. Angie, you're right. It's a beautiful sunny day and I'm happy to be here. Let's go and do some shopping. Hey Angie, look at those two white blouses. Which one do you like better? I like the one on the right. It is short sleeve and would be great for summer. I like that one too, and it's also cheaper than the long sleeve one. The long sleeve one is 26 euros, and the short sleeve one is only 17 euros. And I think it is nicer than the more expensive one. Look at those jeans, Carrie. I love them. Do you like them too? Yes, they're very pretty. Why don't you try a few pairs on and see what you think? Mm -hmm.
Carrie, what do you think? I think they are too dark and too tight. They don't look very comfortable on you. Carrie, you're right. I think I'll try the next pair. What do you think of these, Carrie? Well, they are lighter than the other pair. I think it is good that they're not as tight as the last pair. Do you like them? Yes, the last pair was too tight. And this pair is too loose. They need to be shorter as well. They are too long. Hello, are you having some problems with sizes today? Well, not just size, but color and fit too. Well, don't worry, I'm here to help. What's wrong with these pants? I like these. They are lighter than the first pair, but they are too loose and they need to be shorter too. So, same light color, but you want them a little tighter and a little shorter too. Yes, I want the same shade of color, but tighter and shorter than this pair. Just a moment, I'll get them for you. I'll be right back. Hello, try these. Thank you. Thank you. These jeans are perfect for me. They're just the right shade of blue. They're long enough and comfortable to wear. Well, guess what? What if I told you I can take 25% off the price? Then they'd be cheaper too. <gasps> that would be great! Let's go to the register and we'll get this all sorted out for you.